In this final part of the introduction to the cram tool, we're going to look how we can use it to estimate the teaching cost of a design. I'm going to reuse the design for a module that we saw earlier. In that one, we hadn't entered any information about the costs or income for the module. So let's go ahead and do that. A module at the Institute of Education has a student fee of about £1,000 for home students and £2,000 for overseas students. Of that, teaching income is about 50%. So that's £500 for home students and £1,000 for overseas students. So let's enter that information. We can also say that roughly it's about £182 a day for a junior member of staff and £450 a day for a senior member of staff. Now we've entered that information, I'm going to collapse this module data window because I want to focus on the student hours, tutor hours and tutor cost window. You'll see that those are currently empty because we haven't entered any information about how long it would take to prepare and support each teaching and learning activity. So let's start to do that by looking at a lecture. We've said that a lecture lasts four hours for 10 weeks. Let's assume that the lecture is prepared by a senior member of staff, not per week, but before the course starts. Let's also assume that each hour of teaching material takes about 15 hours of preparation. So we can say the number of non-weekly hours spent by that senior member of staff is 60, which is 15 hours times four for the first run. For the second run, the member of staff may want to just ensure that the material is up to date and correct any revisions. So let's say they spend 10 hours, which is two and a half hours per hour. And on the third run, let's just say they spend four hours. Let's say that the person who gives the lecture is also the person who's prepared it. So that's a senior member of staff. For the first time, I would imagine that the senior member of staff would have to spend four hours giving the lecture and maybe two or three hours beforehand preparing for it. So that's seven hours. On the second run, maybe they only spend one hour preparing for it. So that's five hours. And on the third run, maybe they only spend the four hours actually giving the lecture. But let's assume that it is the senior member of staff who gives the lecture. So let's make these 100%. Okay. Let's assume it's a junior member of staff that provides the tutorials. We've said that for each of the 10 weeks of the course, the tutorial lasts two hours. Let's assume the junior member of staff has to spend a few hours per week actually preparing to give the tutorial. For the first run, let's say five hours. For the second run, let's say two and a half hours. And for the third run, let's say just one hour. But in each case, it's a junior member of staff. The hours per week actually given the tutorial is two at least. But let's say they only spend maybe half an hour beforehand just to be sure they know what they're doing. So now let's look at the essays activity. We've said that there are three essays and we expect the students to spend 10 hours preparing and, and writing their essays. In terms of preparation hours for teachers, all that has to be done is the, the essay questions. So let's say the senior member of staff is responsible for creating the essay questions. Maybe in the first run, the senior member of staff spends 10 hours per week of those three weeks preparing the essay question. Now, this won't necessarily reduce because each year a new essay question has to be developed. But let's say it takes less than 10 hours in the second year and on the third year slightly less than again. Also, let's assume that we are providing our students with support while they're preparing their essays. Let's say for each essay we offer students one hour support and it's provided by a junior member of staff. So that's completed the essays activity. Finally, the exam. The exam only takes place once. It's a summative assessment. We know that the senior member of staff has to prepare the exam question and each year, let's say, they spend 10 hours preparing the exam question. And yes, the exam question has to be different every year, so it's 10 hours for each run. The exam has to be marked by someone, and that's what we mean by support hours. So let's say for a final module exam, it takes approximately two hours per student to mark the exam. So that's two non-weekly hours for each run by a junior member of staff. So 
So now we've entered all the information for the teaching and learning activities and we can see how the tutor hours table is updated with the amount of time it takes to prepare and support each run and we can also see what well, tutor cost table is updated with the amount of cost it takes to prepare and support each run. The chart is updated in terms of number of support hours which are really high for this course because we have a lot of students whereas the uh, preparation hours aren't really that great especially in run 3. So let's take a look at the summary. So based on this module in terms of the costs it takes to pay for junior and senior members of staff and our estimate of how long it takes to prepare and support the course we can see that the income is constant across the three runs because it's 250 students. The cost across three, three runs starts off at £55,000 and decreases slightly mainly because the support costs are so high. The difference is always in the surplus going from 119000 to getting on for 126000 so we can see how we can use the CRAM tool to estimate the teaching costs of such a design.